Even though the DJI Mavic series are not typically designed for drone deliveries, I've always been kind of curious as to how much each of them can carry. And so today what I'm gonna test out is the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air, and the Mavic 2 Pro, and I'm gonna see how much weight they can carry. And then more importantly, I wanna find out how much each of them can carry compared to their weight. So gram for gram, which of these three drones is the strongest? So let's check it out. Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. If this is your first time here, this is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. When you're done watching this video, go ahead and browse around the channel, see if you find anything of interest or value. And if you do, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. So like I said, I've kind of got this idea from uh, doing the toilet paper video the other day where I hauled some toilet paper over to my neighbor with my Mavic 2 Pro. And that kind of prompted me to like, you know what, I've always wanted to know how much each of these drones can carry. And so I'm gonna start off with the Mavic Mini. Now what I've kind of come up with here is I made a little carrying solution. I just took a cardboard box and then some paracord and just uh, poke some holes in the box. And then I used my little carabiner on there. And so this right here weighs 106 grams by itself. So the box with the paracord, with the carabiner, with the zip tie, that all weighs 106 grams. And what I'm gonna do is, since I can't do math in my head that quickly, when I'm done with all this, I'm gonna put all the stats up on the screen at the end of the video so you can see exactly how much each of them lifted. Uh, and then also the power index of each of them, gram for gram, how much they lifted. So what I did is I took some coins and I just bagged them up in little baggies. And so I have them separated by grams and I have some 50 gram bags. Uh, I have some 100 gram bags and then you have a, I think I have a 1,000 gram, yeah, 1,000 gram bag here because I know the Mavic 2 Pro is gonna be able to carry at least 1,000 grams. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the Mavic Mini up right now. I'm gonna start loading these little bags into it. I'm gonna see how long it takes to where the Mavic Mini can't uh, hold its altitude anymore. So let's go ahead and get the Mavic Mini up in the air. Okay, there we got it. Hey, just a little side tip for you. If you do a unlock GeoZone, DJI unlock GeoZone, and you do it again the next day, you're gonna have two licenses on there. So what you need to do uh, before you can take off is you need to delete the first one. You can't have two licenses. So just a little note there for you if you, or you're unable to launch after you've already gotten approval if you've gotten the GeoZone unlocked. So uh, just so you know, you can't have two of them. Okay, so let's get the Mavic Mini up with 106 grams. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of weight in here. I don't know how to keep this thing on here. Anyone has a Rode Wireless Go? How do you keep that little fuzzy thing on there? Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of weight in here because I don't want that box just kind of flying around. So I'm going to put in 100 grams. So we're at 206 grams right now. And let's go. All right, so the Mavic Mini can barely lift off 206 grams. Let's go ahead and take that out. Uh, back it up a little bit here. And let's go with 50. So this is a 50 gram bag. We can go up, we can fly around at 156 grams. Okay, I'm just gonna try this again. I'm gonna load in another 50 with it up in the air. And it cannot. All right. Well, <laughs> it's not landing because, because of the, uh, All right, there we got it. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go make uh, a 25 gram bag just to see if we can get as close as we can. So let's go ahead and 
Just run inside and do that really quick. And I'm gonna make a 25 gram bag. Okay, I got some 25 gram bags. So we know it can do 50, 156 plus 25. Let's see if it can do that much. All right. And then we'll put in another 25 just to double check. Nope, that's gonna be it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and land it. All right, so there's our total. I'll put it up on the screen. That's the total maximum weight lifted for the Mavic Mini. All right, let's get the Mavic Air and see what that one can do. All right, it is the Mavic Air's turn. The Mavic Air weighs 431 grams. I forgot to mention, if you don't know, the Mavic Mini weighs 249 grams. Again, at the very end, when I do the math, I'm gonna put up on the screen the power index of each of these, and we're gonna see which one is strongest gram for gram. And so the Mavic Air, let's go ahead and get it up. Let's put a little bit in there. Pretty confident that it's gonna be able to carry 200 grams. Uh, plus the apparatus, so we're looking at 306 grams. So let's see. All right, not bad. It's loud and it is not holding it. All right. All right. So, all right. So there we have 206. Pretty easy. Well, not easy, but it's definitely doing it. All right. So let's add 50. Neighbors mowing the lawn. Hopefully you can't hear that. We got 256 grams. Doing good. Now we're gonna add another 25. And just for good measure, we'll add another 25. Hey, it's doing it. Let's try another 25. Well, it's doing it. All right, I'm gonna take out a 25, put in a 50. Oh, that's it, right there. And it's coming down. All right. All right, so I'm gonna have to go ahead because I forgot what I put in there. I'm sure some of you are keeping track, but. So we got 106, we got 206. 306, 356 grams. That is the Mavic Air maximum, so not too bad. All right, let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up. Okay, so I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna be a little over confident with the Mavic 2 Pro. I'm gonna put the 1,000 gram bag right in there. So that's gonna give us 1106, 1106 grams on the Mavic 2 Pro. Uh, the Mavic 2 Pro weighs, I think 900, and let me see, I wrote it down. 907 grams is what the Mavic 2 Pro weighs uh, with the stock propellers on it. So uh, this will definitely be the winner. I can tell you right now if it can lift this, that's, uh, yeah, 1106. All right, let's get this up in the air. All right, let's see if it can just lift 1106 grams from a dead stop. No. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's start a little bit lighter. Boy, that is quiet drone, isn't it? Okay, so let's, what are you doing? Drifting a little bit. Okay, so we got 100. We know it can do that. So we got 206 in there right now. And we'll just go up 100 at a time until we get, so let's go, oh wait a minute, I got 306 in there, 306. Six hundred and six. Okay, I'm gonna see if it can lift it from the ground. Nope, 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 don't land. Why are you landing? Okay, 606 from the ground. <laughs> 706, starting to struggle, yep. Max motor speed reached. So that's why it is trying to land right now. Okay. So that is too much weight. Let's get that out of there. So it's hitting max motor speed at 606. 506 looks to be okay. Nope. Five oh six is too much because it reaches max motor speed. Let's go down fifty. Oh, where's my fifty? Here we go. All right, seems to be holding okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and land it. Okay, let's see what we were at there. When the max motor speed was reached, boy, I was way off when I said 1,000 grams, wasn't I? 1,100 grams. Okay, so we got one, two, three, we got 406, 506, 606, and 656. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go 506. 506 grams and see how it does. 
see if we can fly without getting that max motor speed warning where it auto lands. Looks to be okay. We're at 26 feet. Let's go up and down a few times and see how that does. Should be okay. Five hundred and six. Let's go up by. Here it is. Twenty five grams. All right, twenty six feet. I think we're good. I maybe try another 25. Let's see. Nope, that is it right there. All right, I'm glad we found it. All right, I'm glad we found it. I I want to say 556, but let's double check. So this extra 25 was too much. So we got 206, 306, 406, 506, and 531, 531 grams on the Mavic 2 Pro. So yeah, that's a lot less than I thought it would be. I, I could have swore I saw a video where someone lifted almost two and a half pounds with it. But, uh, but maybe that was only just for a little bit and you know, maybe it was able to lift it and hold it for a little bit, but to be able to fly with some weight and carry it and not have to worry about the motors getting you know, overheated, you're gonna have to stay under that, probably that 500 gram range. A couple other things that I do wanna mention, the variables, there's zero wind right now. It's 45 degrees Fahrenheit outside and the barometric pressure is right at 29 inches. So I know a lot of people are gonna ask what were the conditions at this time. So there are the conditions in case you're wondering. Very interesting, a couple things, don't do this you guys. It is really hard on your motors. I'm doing it for research for your benefit, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. You know, you could certainly carry some stuff with the Mavic 2 Pro, maybe a little bit with the Mavic Air. Honestly, I wouldn't do it any more than a roll of toilet paper with the Mavic Mini, but, uh, but just in case you wanna carry something for fun, you can do it. I would just kinda stay away from those limits. So I'm gonna put those up on the screen right here, the maximum weight lifted by each. And then here are the, um, the power indexes of each of the drones. So for the weight carried compared to the weight of the drone. And you can see this one right here is the one that won. I actually don't know which one it is yet because I can't do the math in my head, but uh, so there you go. Hopefully this gave you something of value. If it did, click on that thumbs up button. Let me know that you did like it, you appreciated it. I wanna thank you all for watching the video today. I hope you are all staying safe during these challenging times. We're gonna get through this, I know we will. And uh, just keep watching YouTube and keep watching my videos to keep your, uh, keep your mind busy while you're sitting at home. All right guys, thank you for watching again. Have a great day. As always, fly safe and fly smart.